This is crazy, man. Auto GPT with GPT-4 is absolutely game changing. You can see it's coding for me. A moving average crossover is the first strategy that it's coding for me. So the, the whole reason I'm using it, as you can see here, it coded out this from this folder here. It puts all of the code inside of a folder, which is pretty awesome. But I'm using AutoGPT. The use case I'm using is to find profitable trading strategies. Not that I can trade myself, but I can give to my algorithms to trade. And then I can just simply jump into AI and be like, hey, uh, how can I code out a moving average crossover strategy in Python with CCXT? Show me the code in chunks with explanations of each part. So I'll be able to get the strategy here from AI and I'm gonna let this run for a while. So I'm gonna give it 20 spins. Now I've been using GPT-3 for a while and it was good, but GPT-4 is way better for auto GPT. And now you can see over here, I after I get the strategies, because auto GPT will be testing all night and you can see I've been laying it run for a while now. I can then go over to, to this AI and simply ask it to code it out for me and walk me through the process. So you can see we're gonna to connect to Binance. We're going to define the necessary uh, variables and we're gonna get the historical candlestick data. So we need all the data and our computer, our code can then calculate the moving averages, calculate the signals, plot this strategy and this is like the best time in the, the world to be alive in my opinion so if you are looking to automate your training or remove emotions well you can have auto gpt do exactly what i'm doing it's it's researching for me because if you're about to al algo trade and automate your training the first thing you got to do is find a good strategy so how do you do that people ask me all the time well this is how i'm doing it and that's the whole point of this channel is to just show you what I do every day as an algo trader and how I come up with new strategies and then how I use auto GPT in order to build out the back test for these strategies. Because right now what it's doing is it's searching, Googling strategies, reading about them, and then actually back testing them to make sure they make sense. And if you look at my original prompt here, I pretty much said, we want to make sure that we are only finding strategies that have 100% more per year return. Now I've been using it for so long, it's kind of hard to find that original prompt, but just trust me on this one. <laughs> I put it in and you can watch one of the last videos. I said, hey, auto GPT, go ahead and find me strategies that return 100% more per year with a two sharp ratio or better. And while that was working pretty well with the auto GPT three, auto GPT four has absolutely changed things. So make sure to get access to GPT four if you can. And if you can't, you just sit on that wait list. And it's so worth it. Um, and then when you want to then build out this strategy, you can just ask AI to walk you through step by step how to do this. Like you don't even need courses or anything anymore. Like if, I, of course I have a boot camp that walks you through this step by step as well. But to be honest, like it's all here as well. So feel free to join this if you want me to hold your hand specifically because I've been doing this for so long. But Auto GPT is pretty sick and I'm going to let this run for a while and we can kind of check in on it every once in a while, but I want to make sure to run it here on YouTube so you can see it because I know this is super expensive to run. Not everybody has access. So let me know if you have any things you specifically you want me to try out with auto GPT because like I said, it is expensive to use it and I, I know not, not everybody has access and I, I was one of those that didn't have access for the longest time and I was a little crack fiend trying to get it, but finally got it. So I'm going to go over here and start coding some stuff and I'm going to first tackle this task. So let's do five, six hyper risk, five, six hyper risk, Rick dot P Y. And what we're going to do in this file here is we want to make simply a risk bot. So this risk bot has no buying or selling. It's literally just checking out our Pinot clothes. So 
I'm going to do that. LF in position. So I'm going to say if in position. And now I'm going to just delete everything else. I think. PL close. Yeah, I think I just delete all this. Oh, nope, not all of it. I need the I'm in position. Where does that come from? Go to definition. I am in position. Okay, let's delete all this then. And then let's delete all this. If not in position, we don't want to make orders anymore. So now this is a risk bot and I needed to get this done. So my, my palm is itching. You know what that means? You know what that means? So this is pretty good because I have this bot that can run alongside of all of my open algorithms and it will manage the risk for that position for all positions essentially, because I'll be able to pass in all my bots into this bot and then it will always check and I'll just have this on like a tight spin. So, it's checking all the time for all my positions. And um, I think this one is done. So let's go back to the top here and say, this is my risk bot that only checks PL close rapidly. So it's so important to manage your risk when algo trading. That's one of the most important things. And my palm is itching like crazy. I know it's not the most fun thing to talk about, but it's so, so important because if you blow up, you lose. But if you never blow up, you always win. You can always play. So let's ask AI why it's so important. Why, why is managing risk so important? important in algo trading and how how or what what are the best five ways to do so so this is why i love ai for is it knows everything so managing risk is crucial in algo trading because it helps you mitigate potential losses and protect capital Okay, here are five ways. Diversification, okay, so maybe some long, some long. Stop losses, monitoring, so regular monitoring, kind of what we just did. Setting risk limits, back testing, historical uh, back testing. So my process simply is find strategies like AutoGPT is searching for me now and then back test them. If they're profitable, then I build an algo for them. So AutoGPT is researching and back testing for me. And from there, if if and when it outputs like it just did, it just outputted a new file. When it brings out profitable strategies, then I can put them into the algorithm and let it run. Just like with small amounts of money, I let it run for a month or two. If it does well, then I'll scale it up to cash. But this is the my favorite way. My this is my full time job actually. So uh, I just try to put as much of it as possible on youtube so you can take it however you uh see fit and um can really run with it so build your own stuff so build a way i'm reading here build a way to call kill switch to turn off bot when needed hmm how could we do that oh i can probably do it in this file also this file also allows us to kill bots if needed. So what we'll do here is say, oh, I guess a good way to kill them also would just be changing the uh, PNL loss. Right? Yeah, I might just do that instead. Hmm. Let's do an input here. Input. Press 
anything to manage risk or K to kill. And then let's say uh, input E or inputted or choice, whatever, it doesn't matter. Choice equals input. And then if choice, I can't type today, B equals K, then we're going to killing bot. Killing bot. And how do we kill the bot? Well, we're just going to change our max loss in our target. See, that is, that's a good move in my opinion, because that will kill us immediately. 0. 0. 0.00. Just make it like whatever. If you're in a position, you're pretty much getting out because it's, this is percentage terms. So we can just say it's like crazy else. We're not doing anything. So let's run this and see if K works. Press anything to manage risk or K to kill. I should probably work on my spelling here just because I'll see this over and over again. Okay. So there we go. And let's run it again. And you can see auto GPT has just finished up doing some stuff here. And where is it at? I mean, let's see. I need to make sure that the back testing script is installed and up to date. Okay. So plan is to reinstall back testing. Definitely need to keep keep it running then. Let's give it uh, 20 spins. And I don't know how much that's going to cost, but it's going to cost something because it's 10 X more expensive than GPT three, actually 30 X. I'm sorry. 30 X more expensive than GPT three. So um, I'm happy to run it here on YouTube just so you can kind of see it and then come up with your own ideas. Uh, everything I do here is, is for you. I mean, it's, I'm an algo trader and, putting stuff online. I, the one huge benefit for me is it's accountability. I'm, you know, there's like a lot of, a lot of you guys now and it's amazing. And I love the discord and love the community we've built. Um, but other than that, like, you know, I make my money from algo trading, so I don't really do this so much for myself, but I just put it out there so you can see everything and then you can build your own cool stuff. And like I said, I guess the one kind of selfish part of this for me is it's accountability because now I have all, all of you, 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 yeah, just you and a bunch of other people that are enjoy these videos and are coding some amazing algorithms. And I've seen some of them inside the discord and it's pretty awesome. So I, I just love you so much. And I just, I'm just going to keep going because if I keep going, then you'll keep going. And, um, I just think it'll be beautiful. I think we'll build some beautiful stuff over the months, years, and so on. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. So how long will I do the YouTube for? I don't know. But if you let me know that you enjoy it, then it's going to keep me going a bit. So if you do enjoy this, just let me know. Um, join the Discord. Just holler at me. Um, but yeah, I'm spending all this money here. So we can, we can all win together. So I built these two things here already. Um, that's probably a good place. Let's see. I want to go ahead and build a way to long or short only. How can we do that? I would have to do that in the other file in the main bot. So I'll do that there. I wanted to figure out how to manage the leverage and then build out a config text file. So we got to do both of those. But I'm trying to figure out one of the biggest things for me when it comes to coding is prioritizing and what, where to put what time. Cause for me, I only have like four hours a day that I can be like peak functioning. And honestly, I didn't sleep very well last night. I woke up at like three 45 today. So my mind isn't all the way there. Unfortunately, I don't have my like four hours. I don't think I can do today, but it is a Saturday. So I guess I can take a, take a little break. But like I said, you know, if you have any questions about anything algo trading or you want to see anything with auto GPT, you know, I can let this run forever on YouTube or off YouTube, but I'd rather do it on YouTube because it is expensive. And if, if I'm helping myself, that's awesome. But I feel way better if I can help you as well. And then I can code over here on the left side. And then if you want me to teach you all this stuff, of course I have the boot camp as well. You don't have to join it though. I mean, this is just how you accelerate and really 
crush it because I show you everything that I've done and I bunch have a bunch of algos there. But I just don't want to like pitch you on that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here in the Marketo. Mercado. Mercado is the word, sorry. All right, well, I think <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is probably cut this one and come back a little later when I have a little more energy and this has gone a little bit further because auto GPT four is an absolute beast and it's building some cool stuff for me. I see the file that files that it's creating. Um, it's still trying to get this all installed though. So we'll see if it gets past it, but I'll, I'll just make a follow up. So just make sure to subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll be back. I hope you have an amazing day.